Gotta get him out of here. Gotta get him out of here. Oh, that's a good one, guys. That's a really nice fish. All right, guys, so I'm a little bit more out of the wind, not much. So I figured I'd go ahead and uh, kind of talk to you a little bit of what I'm doing. So guys, I'm coming up here. I'm in a, a little bit more of a main channel, but onto the side, and I'll show you in just a second. I've got some really good banks like shell bars and things like that. And all I'm doing is keeping my boat just far enough out where I'm not spooking those fish. And so far I've been able to pick up a really nice red uh, and a couple trout. So just wanted to show you guys, I'll go ahead and turn it around here. Um, you can see, all along here how much structure and things like that we have you got these oyster bars we got a really nice kind of steeper bank and you've got these docks and i'm probably in about six feet of water right or right out here or so and then the fish are really hanging really close to the structure and all of these banks guys so all i'm doing is going in here and kind of power fishing but also retrieving my lure back with the current going this way and able to really you know put a good presentation so i'm just moving down the bank doing that going into the current and i've been having some pretty good success so i'll show you guys later on uh, if there's anything else this wind is killing me guys it's so hard to position right now <laughs> nice trout guys all right all right pretty trout right there on the fred guys <laughs> he's a, he fell a little bigger than he was this wind has got me crazy there he goes all right guys hopefully you can hear me okay but the wind is killing me right now it's right in my face but i want to show you guys how you can throw into the wind and basically just throw under it as you can see i've got a really nice bank right here so the wind below me a little bit further down here is not near as bad as it is up here where i'm throwing you know on top of the boat so i'm going to show you guys the kind of just basic you know how to throw under the wind and get a little bit more tension on your line because if i was to do a normal overhead cast like this my line is going to bow and it's going to be a real mess possibly even some wind not so if you go ahead and i'll show you just go like this i'm going to keep it low to the water and just like a line drive just like that you see guys there was hardly any bow in my line or anything like that and now i've got immediate tension on my lure even though the wind is crazy i actually just threw that into the wind so another quick tip on casting guys if you can ever get under the wind your line is going to be a lot more of a direct connection compared to if you're just to throw it normal because if you throw it normal that wind's going to catch your line and it's going to be an absolute mess and even if a fish does hit your lure you know you're not going to have enough tension on it to make a good connection and set that hook There we go. That's a good fish. Nice trout, probably. Yep. All right, guys. So this trout was hanging right around this corner where all this bait was getting washed into. Nice little trout there. Pretty spots on him. Again, right there on the fred, guys. So I'm easing up to this area. I just saw a tail right over here kind of move. I don't see it anymore. And there was some shrimp jumping. Uh, there's some birds on the bank. And there's a really steep shelf and all this water is getting washed out here in an outgoing tide right now so these redfish i think are just stacked up in these little coves and all these areas they can just ambush bait as it's getting washed by there we go nice red right there Get him out of the structure. Man, oh, don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> oh, man, I got to get him out of here, guys. He's going right for those docks. Oh, man. Textbook spot. Oh, come on. Got to get him out of here. Got to get him out of here. Oh, that's a good one, guys. That's a really nice fish.
come on get out of here dude Ooh, look at that tail man he is kicking he's trying to get out this main current man on the fred guys just i was saying earlier this thing is awesome whoop, whoop, whoop. that's a nice fish right there guys super nice fish on the fred right there we go here he comes finally getting his head turned come on man <laughs> oh it's a good fish pretty one too all right here we go here we go almost in guys beautiful fish right here look at that right on the fred guys it's exactly why we made this lure look at this pretty fish man pretty tail absolutely gorgeous see he's got some spots on that side and right there man pretty pretty fish right here guys let's go ahead and get him back in the water and look how dark he is guys it just blends right in with this kind of tannic water <laughs> all right there we go all right guys so i wanted to show you the setup that i was using just real quick today so going ahead and getting into it guys i was using the new bgmq this has been an awesome reel so far and i've just got it paired up with 15 pound power pro that's you know what i really like because i fish around docks and a lot of structure and things like that but this reel's been great it's silky smooth on the drag and it's very light and you guys see i cast a lot just all day really and this reel has just done really really well for me um, i actually ordered another one just just recently because I like them so much, but these are phenomenal reels. Now guys, just getting into it right here, I've got the Fred. This has been a staple in my boat recently and I've really, really enjoyed it. It's just an awesome color. And guys, I've got it paired up on 20 pound Andy monofilament, just right there with the loop knot. That's what we really like to use and it really gives a lot of good action. And I've just got a 1 8 ounce jig head. I like that lighter jig head, especially uh, during times where it's a little bit more of a slack tide. Sometimes you can really get a lot more bites that way versus a heavier jig head, um, you know, when it's just moving so fast. Now, when the fish are fired up, they definitely like it. But when it's a little bit of a tough bite like we've been having recently, that lighter jig head has really been doing well. But guys, I probably get 90% of my bites on the fall with this lure. You can tell this just got an awesome tail action. And as it goes down, that's 90% of the time when I get those bites. So I've showed you guys kind of how I reel and I retrieve and all of that. And guys, this is one of my favorite lures. It works 12 months out of the year. And I really, really like this pink color. It works great when you've got conditions like we do today, a little bit of sunlight, but you want something that's gonna stand out a little bit too. It's got some of that silver flake in it. And these fish really pick it up well, even in some murkier water. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it, and we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education, the exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.